All right, so the first step was signing up for the wheel, wedging your clay. Make sure you then turn the potter's wheel on. First switch, flip up for on. Then there's left-handed and right-handed. Sometimes it gets stuck in the middle. And counterclockwise is right-handed, clockwise is left-handed. So I am right-handed, so I wanna go counterclockwise. Next step is to clean the bat off with a wet sponge. Then you're going to hit the clay down to make sure it stays and you want to hit it into the middle. Next step, you want to add water to the clay and you're pushing forward towards 12 o'clock. This step, the wheel is pretty fast. Centering, you have the wheel going pretty fast to help you. So I'm pushing forward. This hand just kind of supports. And I'm pushing forward. Kind of like I want to push the clay right off of the back. The next step, you know it's centered when your hand isn't moving anymore. I also have my arms locked in. So once you can tell that it's centered or very close to centered, then you're going to go into coning where you use your palms to push up so the clay goes up. You should do this three times. So I'm using my palms to push up. And then to bring it back down, I'm gonna push forward. So I'm pushing forward. That brings it back down. Back into center. Do that two more times. And center. Next step is to compress or kind of make a hockey puck. So I use this part of my hand and push down. My arm is still locked in and I'm pushing down. Next step is opening. So I'm going to put my thumbs into the middle and then use the tool to open. I like to use two thumbs. Some people like to use this hand formation. Um, sometimes this hand formation there's different ways, so just try different ways. Uh, water, it's good to add like a little water into there so that you don't hitting dry clay. And you wanna make sure you don't go all the way down and hit the bottom. So now I'm gonna open and pull my thumbs outward. And it's very dry. Add a little water. So now I'm done opening. Take my rib tool. Hold on to it so it doesn't fly off. And press into the center, push outward. This gives me a nice 90 degree angle for the inside of my, of my pot. The next step, you slow the wheel down. Slow it down. Uh, then it's called you're pulling the walls up. I like to have my middle fingers on the inside and my thumb on the outside. And then I have my right hand on this side with a sponge. You're gonna start at the base, pinch the clay and pull the clay upward. This part is a little bit hard to get good at, so just practice. So I have my, I'm always working in this area, middle finger and thumb. People do different ways, but I'm going to start at the bottom, pinch, and start pulling upward. If it gets thin on the top, add a little bit of pressure, and starting again. Raise 
continue my project upward. Once you feel like you have your project pretty tall and you want to add some shape to it, you can use tools, you can use your sponge, um, you can just use your hands, whatever you want to do. So if I want to add some shape going out, I'm going to push from the inside and push out. If I want to, my project to go in, I'm going to push more on the outside. You can also taper by making a triangle. sort of shape like that. So once you have the shape that you want, then do some smoothing if you need to, smoothing the outside, and the removal steps. Before you are done, you want to make sure you trim this clay off. There's extra clay right here. So I take my rib tool and I stick it in at an angle, a 45 degree angle. Trimmed all that off, flip it, lots of extra clay. Then I'm going to turn my wheel off. I'm going to put water on the back. I'm going to take my wire tool and I'm going to run the water underneath the project. So keep your thumbs flat. Pull the water underneath. Clean it off. And a second time. I saw my project move. Then I know I can move it around and move it off of the bat, which I forgot. So then you put it on a square to go and put in your, a bag and put it in your locker. So I like to snap the bottom off. I put my thumbs on these tabs and push down. Snaps that out. And I can move my project to the edge and onto my block. And then I have my project. If my project doesn't work out, I can squish it. I can go re-wedge it and try again. But if it's time to clean up, I'm going to clean up all of my tools and clean up the wheel. You use your bucket as your sink. Get the extra water off. This side's a lot harder to get off. You kind of have to school bus driver it off just a little bit. Then I can get my sponge and scoop out the water. And you got a school bus driver back in there. Then this clips on. tools. Everything happens in your potter's wheel bucket. Put your tools back when they're clean. And you gotta make sure you have all of your tools. Clear off 
shell. And then this, I either re-wedge and put back in the recycle bucket. I could put it on the plaster block to dry a little more. And then this gets put in the orange bucket. And then I put it back when I'm done. So the wheel's cleaned up, I just have to take care of my clay and my bucket.